I wish that I could just sprinkle some fairy dust and have a Lamborghini magically appear in my driveway. I also wish that I had the guts to do extreme sports. Now, back in our Made to Order series, we had pro freestyle rider Paul Smith show us how to transform a regular dirt bike into a freestyle machine. And now that we're in our Moto Madness series, we're going to show you what freestyle bikes were made to do with Matt Rebo. So Matt, you're one of those crazy guys that decides to throw themselves off a bike pretty much every day. When did you start doing that? Um, you know, it's like the motocross, it's a family sport. My grandfather was a motocross rider and my father was a motocross rider, uh, rider too. Matt's not just any FMXer. He holds the record for most wins and podiums in the Red Bull X Fighters Tour. He was also a silver medalist in the 2006 X Games. You'd think he was born on a bike. Uh, I received my bike very early at four years old and I pretty much ride all my life and that's what I love to do and uh, now it's like seven years that I'm professional and it's pretty cool. So why freestyle? Why not racing? Uh, why not ping pong? I don't know. You're just good at it? You know, like I, I really love jump with my bike and the feeling when you jump is just perfect and uh, I think that's why I switched for freestyle. But it's not always easy. The 2009 season was not a good one for me. Like, uh, no, it was good, but it was not like the last year. Because the last year I got a perfect season, and this year I was pretty much like unlucky on the contest. Unlucky is the light way of putting it. Matt was in a devastating accident where his bone was protruding from his arm. Needless to say, it took severe dedication and months of intense rehabilitation therapy to get him back on a bike. Apparently, being a freestyle motocross rider isn't all fun and games. But it is some fun and games, and Matt did get back on a bike. With hard work and practice, Matt was ready for the 2010 World Tour. He met up with the X Fighters for his comeback in Moscow for the third competition of the 2010 season. By the fourth competition in Spain, Matt was right back in it. So in the final, Rabo again needed to be smooth and consistent and bring out all of the old tricks to try and take down Madison. A re-energized Matt Rabo pulling out this, the huge underflip and even the pendulum flip of the super kicker. It looked like it was going to be an incredible final. Congratulations to Matt for taking home a respectable second place. We have to congratulate a rider who has props for the Canadian crowd. Uh, like tonight in Montreal, it was just awesome. The crowd was just perfect. And you know, when you ride like this and you can feel the energy, like so the people give you so much energy when you ride, and it's just awesome. And I love that. When it's like this, I love my job. Do you think Red Bull makes you a better rider? Hey, for sure. Red Bull gives you wings. Then uh, <laughs> for the job that I do, it's pretty important. 